Hey guys, uh, so this is, um, I guess not a care video so much as kind of like a show off video. Um, but I guess it is a care video since we're not, so we're not totally sure what these are. Um, they were collected in Corfu, Greece. Um, our best guess is Parakeet. Um, and I already did a video on Parakeet, which you can find if you search all of my videos. Um, but like their exoskeleton matches up with Parakeet, so there's their faceplate and reproductive organs. Um, the only main difference is these guys are a different color than the Parakeet that are in the hobby. They're also bigger. Um, so say your average pill bug, so A vulgare, you know, the usual size of one is about one and a half centimeters. These guys get around 2.3 or so centimeters long, so that'll kind of give you an idea of their size. Let me see if I can pull some out for you. There's one. Try and move out of the way. He's out of here, this guy. Let me see if I can find another one. It's not so keen on moving all over the damn place. Um, this culture is still relatively small. I only have uh, a few dozen individuals in here. Uh, there's one. I guess they're all underneath the wood that's at the very bottom. Ah, there they are. Sorry, I freaked you out, guys. Um, but very Parakeet-like, um, an almost Kubaris-like shape. Um, we often call them the the poor man's Kubaris. Because uh, I think they're really pretty, but they're not quite as striking as the Kubaris in terms of their shape. They still have the similar kind of flat square head plate that a Kubaris does. Um, if you look on my Instagram, you'll see like way better macro pictures of these guys. I don't know what that, what I did with my phone attachment for my macro lens. Otherwise I would show you, but this is kind of them. Uh, but yeah, very parakeet-like. Um, but they're more of a beige color. Whereas, uh, like the, the, the parakeet that you often see in the hobby, um, they're more slaty. Um, they can even be a bluish color. These have more tan khakis. You do still see uh, some of that slaty color in these, um, but they're a, a little bit uh, lighter, I guess you could say, and definitely bigger, um, at least for their size. So these are still juveniles. These are about half grown, so they get a good bit bigger than these. But yeah, their setup is the same as the other parakeet. You know, lots of lots of nice rotting leaves. Um, rotting wood. Um, I try to give as best a variety as I can for these guys. Uh, there's oak, elm, you know, poplar, alder, all kinds of different woods in here. And I try to do that for all of my isopods, if I can. Um, but yeah, very cool species. Um, I might even, you know, send some pictures or something, try and get, uh, like, a positive or a more positive ID on these, just because I think it's really interesting. Um, isopods are super understudied, in case some of you guys didn't know. Um, but yeah, these are very cool. Um, very nice little species. Corfu Greece just seems to produce, uh, lots of cool isopods, like... I have quite a few species from over there that are um, really, really cool. So, uh, I hope you like that quick look. Um, like I said, you can get, uh, get better pictures of that if you go in the About section of my channel. Um, I believe I have the link to my Instagram there. Um, but if it's not, it's Cyclops Eli C. Um, you can see all of my Instagram pictures. I have tons of pretty much every species I keep. Uh, and some that I'm keeping a secret. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. And as I've mentioned in like the last five videos, I'm going to be at the San Jose uh, Reptile Show at the end of this week. 
this weekend, the 24th and the 25th, feel free to come and say hi. So, yeah. Good night, guys.